The 2019 Littleton Municipal Election will be held Tuesday, November 5th. If you are not registered to vote, please contact your county clerk. This is an all-mail ballot election. Ballots will be mailed starting on October 14th. Please allow one full week to receive your ballot. Voters from Arapahoe County who need to drop their ballots off can do so at the Arapahoe County Building at 5334 South Prince Street as the City of Littleton will not have a ballot box located at any of its facilities. The City has four council seats scheduled for the election. In District 2, the candidates are Kathleen Eckel, Jane Osga, and Jerry Valdez. In District 4, the candidates are Ifton Abshire and Kelly Milliman. The winning candidates in the district races will each serve a four-year term. The at-large race has five candidates seeking two positions. The candidates are Pam Grove, Scott Malin, Jessica Mendez Ford, Kyle Schlachter, and Bill Schwanitz. The candidate receiving the most votes will serve a four-year term, and the candidate receiving the second highest number of votes will serve a two-year term. Please feel free to contact the City Clerk's Office if you have any questions. And now, let's hear from the candidates. Hello, my name is Ifton Absher, and I am running for Littleton City Council in District 4. I am a third generation Littleton resident. My grandparents bought their house on Ridge Road the day of the Platte River flood in 1965. And I am running for City Council because this is my hometown where I grew up just like my mother before me. I am dedicated to preserving the unique community values of Littleton and will be fair and balanced as we face the challenges ahead. Littleton is in a period of tremendous change and growth, but that does not have to be seen in a negative light. This is an opportunity to mold our city into our vision for the future. Let me tell you about my vision for Littleton. I see a city that is thriving, both with economic and social vitality. I envision a city that supports and embraces all residents with programs to encourage the youth, assist our seniors, honor our veterans, and welcome our immigrants. I dream of a city that prioritizes green infrastructure and is dedicated to preserving our parks and open spaces. I want to put local government back to work for you. Meeting your elected representatives should be easy and convenient, and I am running for City Council because I believe local government should be transparent, accessible, and inclusive to everyday residents. This is why, if elected, I pledge to bring back District 4 town hall meetings. I see Littleton as a city that supports all areas of our residents' lives. Across the front range, rising cost of living and home prices have greatly outpaced wages, and these factors are pushing many residents out. We need forward-thinking approaches to housing, jobs, retail, and small businesses that require collaboration between nonprofit organizations, businesses, and local government, and I will be there to help forge these partnerships. My goal is to preserve what Littleton residents love about our city and neighborhoods while embracing thoughtful changes and smart growth as Littleton transitions and we welcome new residents to put down their own roots I want to ensure that the spirit of Littleton remains strong. I'm ready to serve the community I love. Thank you for your time and I encourage you to visit my website at ifton, the number four, littleton.com for more information about me and for ways to get involved. Together, we can make Littleton the city we want for our future. Hi, my name is Kate Eckel and I'm running for Littleton City Council, District 2. The district spans from Bellevue to Cayley and from Spotswood to Littleton High School. I love our city, and I want to hear your ideas and concerns for our city. I'm pro-fiscal responsibility, pro-thoughtful development, and giving our citizens the opportunity to live, work, and play all in this great community. I have served on the Littleton Fine Arts Board for the last eight years, with the past two years as the chairperson of the board. I have lived and still live in Progress Park, just off of Slaughterhouse Gulch, for the past 15 years. I reside in a cute 1950s bungalow with my husband and our new puppy, a whippet named River. Littleton has a rich history from the train depot stop from the Wild West to the boom of the 1950s to now, where as a city we are defining our next steps. I have spoken with many of you and have listened to your concerns from traffic issues to sidewalks 
to development concerns, to the number of trash companies that have recycling that are servicing our area. Many of you have mentioned that you want to keep the small town feel, and I'm in agreement with that desire. I believe we can keep the small town feel while servicing all residents in our community. I believe in housing that is affordable for individuals who are just venturing out into the world and want to call Littleton home, to our senior citizens who want housing that addresses concerns of an aging population. I am here to represent your concerns. I want to listen, and if I don't have an answer, I want to be able to research the solution and get back to you. I want you to be able to say, I know my city council member, and I know she listens and represents my ideas and concerns. I'm asking for you to reach out to me on my website, kateforlittleton.com, and let me know your thoughts. I want you to answer the door when I knock and talk to me. I'm asking for your vote on November 5th, 2019, as your city council person, District 2. Thank you. I am Pam Grove, and I'm running for the office of Littleton City Council at large. I am running for this office because I am a concerned citizen who wants to do everything I can to maintain the charm and unique character of Littleton. To me, that means maintaining the integrity of our neighborhoods and our historical assets while fostering our community spirit. I believe in thoughtful growth and partnering with those that want to invest in our city and make sure they adhere to the highest standards when it comes to development and infrastructure and they listen to the needs of our community. We need to be sure to balance commercial and residential land use with open space. Tax dollars need to be spent wisely to enhance safety and traffic flow. I have served on the Littleton Historical Preservation Board for the past nine years and was elected chair for three years. This position has given me the opportunity to work with elected officials, staff, community leaders, property and business owners, and Littleton residents. So I'm familiar with the desires of our stakeholders. This year, I have been a member of the Envision Littleton Community Coordination Committee and am familiar with the Comprehensive and Transportation Plan. I've also provided my input. Implementation of this plan, especially when it comes to zoning, will be very important guiding the future of our city. I have lived in Littleton for 32 years. My husband and I have two grown daughters who graduated from Littleton Public Schools. Professionally, I have over 35 years of experience as a marketer, team leader, consultant, corporate trainer, facilitator, business coach, and college instructor working in banking, healthcare, and the high-tech industry. I'm now retired and spend my time volunteering, traveling, tap dancing and fiddling, and doing outdoor activities. I have the professional background, city experience, interest, and time to invest in this important position. You can count on me to align my votes on important city council decisions with what I stand for. I would like to hear from you. Please email me at Pam Grove for Littleton City Council at gmail.com. Thank you. Hi, my name is Scott Malin. I'm running for city council at large. I love Littleton. It's my hometown and my children's hometown. It's where they'll grow up and where my parents and hopefully my wife and I will grow old. I'm running for city council at large to ensure that Littleton has a thriving future for people and families of all ages. I want my kids to have even more opportunities than the already wonderful opportunities our city gave me. I want my parents to get to age in place in happy, healthy ways in the community that's always been their home. I'm a proud graduate of both the Littleton Police Citizen Academy and the Littleton Leadership Academy, and I'm a South Metro Land Conservancy board member. I went to Wilder, Goddard, and Heritage, then CSU, CU Law School, where I did coursework on Colorado local government, and then earned my master's degree from Columbia University. I work as a managing senior associate attorney at the Bagley Law Firm, focusing on civil litigation. My wife, Marcy, is a Littleton Public Schools counselor working in early childhood education. Our children are one and four years old. I've attended many city council meetings over the past half year, and I've had a chance to speak with many Littleton citizens. My top priority is proactively managing growth in balanced ways. This means protecting our historic community character and ensuring our city's future economic health. We do this through thoughtful and innovative implementation of the forthcoming comprehensive plan update. I'm also deeply committed to preserving and enhancing our open spaces, parks, and trails. 
My daughter knows how to identify robins and wild plums. That makes me happy, and that connection to nature helps keep her healthy. Finally, I want to ensure that local government in Littleton is positive, energetic, optimistic, open-minded, and respectful. I believe strongly in the need for civil, respectful dialogue, especially on emotional, complex issues. I also believe that everyone has a positive contribution to make. That is the Littleton where I'm from and that I'll work hard to maintain for our future. I'm running for City Council because my family and I are wholly invested in Littleton's past and future. My name is Scott Malin. I'm a candidate for Littleton City Council at large. To learn more about me and my campaign, please visit scottforlittleton.com. Thank you. Hi. My name is Jessica Mendez Ford, and I'm running for an at-large seat on Littleton City Council. My family moved here three years ago for the great schools and the suburban feel of this small city. We love the historic downtown Littleton area, the parks and open spaces and trails. For the past three years, I've served on the board of directors of the Oak Brook Homeowners Association as communications director. In that role, I manage the neighborhood social media groups and email account and I publish the quarterly Oakbrook HOA newsletter. I've worked closely with other board members and neighborhood volunteers to organize dues drives, distribute newsletters to every household, coordinate volunteer efforts, and host a range of fun community events for residents. My time on the Oakbrook HOA board inspired me to run for Littleton City Council. Public service is a cornerstone of democracy and local government has the most impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Tax initiatives, development proposals, zoning laws, and the draft comprehensive plan and transportation master plan are all influenced by your city council members. And you, through your vote and your voice, influence who serves on city council and how those elected representatives make decisions. Decisions that ultimately impact you as a resident of Littleton. My goal as a city council member is to connect with you, the residents of Littleton, to learn what your hopes and concerns are for the future of our town. Then I will represent your voices and interests in city council decision making. Visit www.jessicaforlittleton.com to learn more about me and tell me what you think Littleton needs to thrive. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kelly Milliman and I am running for Littleton City Council in District 4. My husband Kevin and I moved to Littleton in 2001 when our two children Max and Casey were very young. I researched many communities along the Front Range and felt that Littleton would be the best place to raise our family. It was absolutely the best decision we could have made. Max and Casey both attended Littleton Public Schools from pre-K through high school. They both attend college now and we couldn't be more proud of our children. I have been a pediatric nurse since 2004 I received my nursing degree from Arapahoe Community College right here in Littleton. And I've been working at Children's Hospital Colorado for the last 12 years. When we moved here, Littleton was a community-oriented place where we felt welcomed. It's still that way, but now there's a vibrancy, which is exciting. We have a thriving downtown business district with unique retail shops, restaurants, and gathering spaces. Our beautiful open spaces, trail systems, and parks instill a sense of connection to nature and to each other. I am a graduate of the Littleton Leadership Academy, class of 2018. The in-depth training that I received through the Academy on how to become a more involved citizen is what led me here today. The thought and planning that has gone into this community that we also enjoy and benefit from today was intentional and driven by a love for which we all cherish. I want to play a part in that momentum. I'm inspired by the energy and passion from the citizens of Littleton. By working together, I'm committed to preserving and protecting our community treasures. I am committed to making thoughtful decisions about land use that respect our history while also positioning us for a healthy economic future. And I am committed to becoming a thoughtful leader who listens hard, represents fairly, and who will work tirelessly for this community. Littleton is our home, and we are all neighbors. A vote for me is a vote for you. My name is Kelly Milliman, and I would appreciate your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jane Osgar. I'm running for the second district in Littleton City Council. Um, I'm a US Army vet 
I spent uh, a lot of time in Vietnam. Uh, I also worked in Antarctica for the National Science Foundation in the United States Navy doing proof of concept of fiber optic based networks. I laid the first fiber optic uh, proof of concept cable at the South Pole in 1994. Uh, I ran a company here uh, called Network Integration Design for 15 years. We traveled the country installing fiber optic based networks for large corporations. Um, the thing that I would like to see uh, is diversity and sensitivity training for all employees that work for the city, whether they're in law enforcement or city employees or any other job that they do. Uh, I believe it's important because of the ethnic background that's in, within our community. I would also like to see a uh, advocate for the military. We have a large military personnel here that live in Littleton, uh, both retired and active. Um, with the wars that are going on, that's going to continue to grow. With the new census coming out next year, I'm sure that everything is going to grow. Thank you. Please vote for me. Uh, I'll see you at the polls. Hi, I'm Kyle Schlachter and I'm running for re-election to represent you on Littleton City Council. Being elected to City Council two years ago was one of the greatest honors of my life. Being chosen to represent our community is truly a privilege. I only have a brief moment to share with you why I would like to continue serving Littleton, so please visit my website, kyleforlittleton.com, to learn more about me. During the past two years, we've accomplished a lot to move Littleton in a positive direction. However, there's still more work to do to steer the city forward into the future that we deserve and want. I will continue to lead by example to bring small town family values, the voice of all of Littleton's residents, and an innovative vision for the future, balanced with the sense of preserving the important historic character of our community. As the father of two young children, the day-to-day -day struggles of teaching them to put toys away where they go, talk kindly to each other, and getting out the door on time can easily get in the way of the long-term goals that we may not clearly see in the present. I have to remind myself that as a parent, the ultimate goal is to teach my kids how to be good stewards to the environment, manage their time properly, and respect others. I have a commitment to teach my children to be better people. This is not too dissimilar from leading the city. Potholes and traffic congestion are short-term issues that may keep our eyes off the ultimate objective of long-term planning. When we plan, we make a commitment to make the city a better place. And no plan can be successful without engaging the community. That is exactly what I have strived to do these past two years. We have worked hard to create a thoughtful, comprehensive plan. I am proud to say that I initiated and created the Next Generation Advisory Committee to get feedback from our younger citizens. I think it's important to listen to ideas from a variety of perspectives in order to identify the best solution. We have a responsibility to our community to preserve the Littleton way of life, protect the clean environment, and cultivate a safe and livable community where all of our residents have an opportunity to succeed. Thank you for your time and your consideration, and I appreciate your vote this November. Hi, I'm Bill Schwanitz, and I'm running for a seat on your Littleton City Council. My family and I moved to Littleton more than a decade ago. Both my children spent most of their school years here and attended Littleton High School. I remember from the very beginning loving the small town feel and historic houses of our neighborhoods and the vibrancy of our downtown. Though long before moving here, I graduated with a degree in Management Information Systems from Bowling Green State University in Ohio, then began a career in software development that has spanned more than 33 years. I currently work as a software architect and team lead for a local software consulting company. Over my years in Littleton, I have become concerned about the number of historic houses and buildings being demolished in our city. Once these pieces of our history are gone, they're gone forever. So when an old farmhouse just south of downtown was about to be destroyed, I decided to do my part and save one of them. After extensively remodeling the house, my family and I are proud to now call it home. As you can tell, I'm passionate about maintaining the character of our neighborhoods. At the same time, a city like Littleton can't exist without its local businesses. In fact, a majority of our city's taxes come from those businesses. It is imperative that our city officials and city council consider the success of local businesses and the livability of our neighborhoods equally. 
Our city zoning should protect us from developments that harm our neighborhoods. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Take, for example, recent developments like The Grove, across the street from the old courthouse, or Whittleton Village, now under construction at Broadway and County Line. We need zoning regulations that are enforceable when developers seek to circumvent them, and we need city officials, including council members, who are committed to enforcement. I'm looking forward to talking to as many of you as possible over the next several months. Don't be surprised if I knock on your door to introduce myself and ask about issues you feel are important to our city. If you want to learn more about me, go to bill 4 the number 4org Thank you. Hello, my name is Jerry Valdez, and I'm running for re-election to Littleton City Council District 2. I have lived in the District 2 for over 33 years. My wife and I raised two daughters here in Littleton. As the current City Council member, I have been an outspoken voice for the residents living in District 2. I am running for re-election because I would like to build on the momentum made over the last four years to shape the future of Littleton. I will continue my get it done style to keep Littleton moving forward. I earned a business degree from the University of Northern Colorado. For the past 18 years, I have worked part-time for the NFL and the Denver Broncos on the statistics crew for home games. For my full-time job, I worked as the Director of Property Operations for a large corporation. My experience with complex budgets is invaluable when addressing issues related to Littleton's aging housing stock and streets. I am recently retired and had the time required to be an even more effective council member for District 2. I am the candidate with the most knowledge and experience running for District 2. My experience includes, I served 12 years on the Littleton Planning Commission serving as chair for two years. I am a graduate from the Littleton Citizens Police Academy and the Littleton's Neighborhood Leadership Program. I served on the Littleton Housing Authority and I served as chair on the Arapahoe County Ethics Committee I also served on the Arapahoe County's Citizens Advisory Budget Committee, and I served as a volunteer mentor at East Elementary. I am a member of the historic Littleton Inc. and Friends of the Library and Museum. I am excited to run for re-election to City Council. It is an honor and a privilege to represent District 2. I am asking for your vote to send me back to represent District 2. I am asking for you to vote for me Jerry Valdez. That's Valdez as in Valdez, Alaska. Thank you for your time and support.